So first of all, Happy New Year 2024, first update of 2024. As you can see, lots of bits missing. Um, what have we been doing? That is the question. So this bit here, this is where the canopy rear hinge fittings sit. Uh, and as you can see now, you can put your hand in and there's nothing there. Uh, those parts have been taken out. Uh, we've hopefully got some new parts coming, um, all being well from our friends at Vulcan to the Sky. Um, it's been an absolute pain in the backside, this bit here, um, just trying to find the parts for it. Um, we've had parts 3D scanned, we've had to find the materials, because there are no hinge covers out there in the world anywhere, until now. Um, so we'll update later on that one. So to get these parts back in here, you need special rivets because Avro, in their infinite wisdom, had their own type of rivets. Um, so you have 60 degree rivets. So that's the countersink, the angle of the countersink. Um, so we actually need to either get some 60 degree rivets made or we need to hopefully find some from a source. Um, so that is proving a bit of a pain at the moment, but we're gonna see what we can do with that. Um, other parts that have been going on to get to these bits, the whole of the rear of the cockpits had to be stripped out. Um, so the instrument panels are now on the benches. Uh, the guys are working on them right now. Um, so they're going to have a bit of bit of TLC at the minute. Um, so we're going to go and do that. Um, what else have we had done? Number three engine bay, that's been stripped out. Rapid start bottles, uh, they're going away for hydrostatic testing more pneumatic bottles inside here for the crew door. Um, they've got a way for hydrostatic testing also, just to make sure we're safe and they're not gonna pop. Um, new rapid start hoses, they've been made. Um, what else have we had done? The air brakes, as you can see up here. The air brakes on the starboard side, there's chains being replaced, all different components being serviced on that. Um, in here, brake foot motors, our friends at Wellsbourne, um, they've come up trumps with us. They've supplied some uh, new O-rings and new seals for the brake foot motors. So we had a bit of an issue with the brakes. Um, they were creeping at 80% on the power. Uh, hopefully now with the new seals in there, that will uh, make sure the brakes are, are solid. Um, so everything's gonna have a good clean out, spruced up. Um, crew ladder, there's a step that's been broken on that. There's gonna be a step that needs to be uh, fixed. We need the materials to fix the angles on and weld it and all that good stuff there. Number three engine, that's been out, that's been cleaned, it's been inspected. Um, that's now good to go. So hopefully once the bottles are back in, we're then good to uh, get the engine back up. On top of the wing, that side there, you'll see that some of the painting um, that's, that's going on now, the paint's been knocked back, rubbing down, ready for a new top coat. Uh, the rear spar, that's had some shot blasting done, um, just to keep everything there nice and corrosion at bay, so which means we can taxi for many, many years, hopefully. Uh, the balance bays on the starboard side, all the structures been taken out of those, all new anchor nuts refitted, um, new paint, all sorts there. So it's been an absolute labour of love on that and the guy's done really well. Um, Bombay, the actuators, they've just literally come back this week. Um, so they've been away at p &A Hydraulics, they've had an overhaul. The rams looked at, new seals, pressure tested, the whole lot. So hopefully now we won't lose any hydraulic fluid winner. Um, the drain systems on the bomb bay, the parachute bay and the rudder bay, there's all little hoses inside there. There's a water trap system, so any water that goes into the bays and that, it goes out. Um, so the hoses on those will perished. New hoses going back in, so hopefully we'll drain water. Um, what else have we done? Undercarriage starboard undercarriage um, we've taken the bottom bogey off so that involved removing the front axle um, which we've never done it's a first for us at the vrt so the shock absorber had to be taken off the front axle had to come out everything's now being measured up again vulcan to the sky brilliant help from you guys uh, we've now got new bushes so that will take all the play out of the undercarriage because the undercarriage was shimmying you couldn't feel it when you were taxiing or towing but with the weight off you can actually feel there's play in the undercarriage it's never good for an undercarriage so we've now got a new axle new bushes new pins um, the shock absorber top pins they've been out um, again part supplied 
new pins have gone back in, new, new pins are going back in on the right, the left hand side today, all being well. Um, so once the bushes have been machined, the right hand undercarriage can then start to be rebuilt, um, and then you'll see parts going back onto that. Same with this bit here, as soon as we've got the canopy hinge covers back, they're drilled off, uh, jig drilled, machined how they need to be machined, all that good stuff there. We've got all the rivets in stock here now. You'll then see these start to go back in. This is gonna be quite time consuming. Um, so we have said that May, uh, in May will be our first high speed taxi run. We do hope that's still gonna be the case, but this job here, it's quite intricate. Um, so you can appreciate the time you put the structure back in, the fittings back in, you've then got to put the instrument panels back in, you then got to put the seats back in. It's a lot of work. And then the canopy's got to go back on. Lots and lots and lots of work on that side of it. Oh yeah, the other thing is Bob Amos window. That's being made. That's being shipped off. We've got another one coming. Um, what else in the cockpit? Once the foot motor's done, the seats will go back in. Once all this stuff up here is done, the canopy can go back on. So as you can see, there's, there's a process to how you do it. So, you know, what, which comes first, chicken or the egg? So you have to go by the processes. It got, starts very quickly, it all comes apart very quickly, then it goes slow, and then when the starts, pit parts start coming back in, it then picks up and it goes quickly again. So it's all gonna come back together fairly quickly. So it looks like a Meccano kit right now. Um, there's lots of plates spinning, shall we say. So hopefully we'll start slowing the plates down and the kit will go back together quite quickly. So other bits that have been going on down here as well. So in the week, um, our new workshop, uh, it's been completely rejigged painted, new machines gone in, new power supplies gone in. It's now a proper functional workshop. So this is something we've wanted, always wanted. It was the initial plan. Unfortunately, things happened that you'll all know about from past. Uh, but now we've got a full functional workshop, which is fantastic. The guys have spent hours and hours and hours painting, putting the wiring in, you name it, they've had to do all that. So they've done a real good job. It always, there's, you know, there's work that goes on in the week down here that nobody really sees um, but it's always always busy there's normally somebody here during the week on a weekday all the time so the guys are pushing ahead doing other bits decorating painting floors doing the electrics the shop hopefully that's going to have a refurb by uh, April this year in time for our first open day hopefully it'll have new shop fittings and all sorts so stay tuned for updates on that but as you can see you know with a Meccano kit with the workshops, with the shop, all the other bits that go on behind the scenes, it is really, really busy. It is the world's only hangered live Vulcan, which is something really to be proud of, something to scream from the rooftops about. It's fantastic. Without the roof, without the support of London South and Airport and all of you supporters out there, we couldn't do this. So, you know, your help is fantastic. So keep peeled for more updates have a look at our shop um, it's quite cold out there so we've got new merchandise coming in support us any way you can every bit of your help is really really appreciated um, so yeah keep supporting and we'll keep you updated